So today we're going to be replacing the window switch on the passenger side of the Ford Focus. I will leave the part number for this in the description below um, so that you can check it out and I will also link it to Amazon. So what we're gonna do is go over to the passenger side and get started on this. It's super simple, takes 10 minutes. So the reason that I know that the switch itself needs to be replaced is because I can control this window from the driver's side. I can roll it up, I can roll it down, meaning the, that the regulator itself is good. The problem is, is that it cannot be controlled on this side and I know the windows aren't locked because the other windows work, that kind of deal. So. What we're going to do is replace it, and it's super simple. You're going to start, if you have some plastic pry bars, that would be best, and start by taking this trim off the side here. It's just some push tabs that basically push it on, and it comes off towards you is how it pulls out. Just like that. They're basically these plastic tabs just go into these metal holders here or retainers. The back side has a tab that comes off the side. So you want to start at the top and then bring it out this way. And then when we reconnect, it will go just like that. So start with that, pull that off. So this one just pulls straight up. You can start on this end and start pulling straight up. And there's a tab on this side here. So you want to pull up from the back first and then pull it out. Now there's a clip, it's just a push connector here. This is a pretty simple clip. This clip has a little black tab here in the center on the back side, and you basically push it in and pull the switch out. Now we've exposed the switch itself. And with this switch, essentially all that you need to do is spread the sides apart. Basically just pull it out. So now <clears throat> you can open up the new package and it's going to go in same way it came out. It just pushes all at once and basically snaps into place. So now that your new switch is in, you're basically going to clip this connector back together until you hear it click. We're gonna use this tab at the front and go underneath and set it back down this way. Now we can put our trim back on. It's the opposite direction. Slides into the back here and pops into place just like that. And now our window works with this switch, which it never did before. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section down below. Be happy to answer them. And if anybody else runs into anything else, the community can help get our cars fixed up. So thanks so much for watching. And if you found value in this video, please like and subscribe to the channel.